Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow up 350, almost at the high of the day, at 33,349. Really strong two days we've just had. We're looking at the S&P. Now, this is going to be interesting because the Dow is up 1.05%. The S&P is up 1.5 at uh, 40, 40 4,041.73, up uh, 60, it was such a quick move. Yeah, with, with a gap up today, and that really is important. I'll discuss that when I come back for the Tom O'Brien Show in a moment. We're looking at the QQQ, which is the NDX 100 trading vehicle. Fabulous push to the upside, up 5.93 uh, <clears throat> at 299.50. Now, look at this. Here's the IWM, so that is up 2%. The IWM is at 1.5%. This is the Russell 2000. It's just broken key resistance in the daily chart. That means that the weekly chart is starting to improve again. And that is really important that it uses orange 200 period exponential moving average in the daily to bounce up. Looking at the gold contract, the gold is up almost $20 at 1859. This is a really strong move. Isn't it fascinating? Here it is up so strongly. And the dollar. A dollar is down, but not very much. It's down 37 ticks at uh, 104.61. What is fascinating is that the bonds, if I can get there right here. Look, bonds um, are up one, almost two dollars. That is really a big move. Look at that. Look at that candle. And that means that the yields are pulling back. And I think the market actually likes it. Looking at crude oil. Uh, the crude oil is up very strongly, big candle. Wow, the low in the day was 75.83 on the continuous contract, and it's now trading at 79.85, almost at the high of the day. That's a really turn, good turnaround, but the weekly says it's just in a trading rate. So I'll be back for the Tom O'Brien Show coming up in a few moments, and uh, questions keep coming in. I'll go through some of those questions. Oh, question about the VIX index. Yeah, that VIX index on a Friday afternoon. It's great to see that it's down 98 cents at 18.61, going back into the 18s. We needed to see that if this market was to have some sustaining move that still needs to go all the way through Tuesday, even Wednesday, because I don't want sudden selling to come in on Monday or Tuesday, that'll negate a lot of the positive action you see, because this is really coming out. A lot more stocks are starting to move up. I'll be back in a moment for the Tom O'Brien Show. Basil Chapman, see you in a few moments. Thank you.